Hi, my name is Boris and in today's video I'm about to show you how to make a chord progression for melodic and progressive house. We're going to write a really cool, elaborate and melancholic sounding chord progression that could be used as the main element of a track. I will start out really basic and we will finish with a complete awesome sounding chord progression. Before we get into the video, if you like what we are doing on this channel, consider subscribing for more videos like this, we've got a lot more coming up. And if you'd like to learn harmony and chord progressions a little bit more in depth, check out our online courses, you will find the link in the description. Alright, so let's get started. I just have a brand new MIDI clip and the stock grand piano playing. Really basic sound and it's great for writing chords, you can always change the sound at the end. Right, so our chord progression we are going to keep in the C major scale, so we are only going to use the white keys or we can enable the scale here. So first of all, enable the scale over here, select C major, that should be chosen by default and you can select scale. Now we are only left with the notes in our scale, but if you don't want to use that, let's just use the white keys these are the notes of our C major scale. I will turn on the scale function so that you can pick out what harmony we are playing a bit easier than if there are black keys in between the notes. Okay, so let's start. The first chord is going to be the F chord. We could do it this way, so just clicking here, expanding the note as long as we want it to be, but we could also change the grid here so that we are left with a really nice uh, grid that is really usable. Maybe we can stick to two bars actually, because these are going to be four chords and we are playing it over eight bars. Okay, so first of all, F, we are not even going to use the third here, so let's skip over that and go to the fifth. And this is the F5 chord or a power chord. Now we can copy that over onto the second one and let's go for the A chord. So just two steps up from that, we can add in the C and we are left with the A minor chord. Let's continue duplicating it and we're going to E. Okay, so four steps up and we are at E and also now we are going to C. So two steps down. Our chords sound like this by now. This sounds really cheesy, let's spice it up. First of all, let's take these two notes and copy it over in the upper octaves. So holding Alt or Option, going to the upper F. So this is the first chord now. We could copy the bottom note of this chord and move it up. Now we are playing a triad and an octave. We could also copy the third, so here's what it sounds like now. And it's quite basic. So let's continue. We have just two more chords left. This is going to be really simple. Let's copy both of these notes. So I'm just holding shift here and selecting them and holding alt now and going down an octave so that we have nice bass notes. Okay, so let's play these chords from the beginning to the end. Okay, just as a reminder, I'm going to add some locators to mark the chords that we are playing. So this is F5, so a power chord in this case. This would be A minor chord. Now this would be an E minor chord and we are going back to the tonic, so the C major chord. So the next step for me would be to add some rhythm because this progression by now, it is really great, but it's really slow. It maybe would work for a pad. We are looking to breathe a bit more life into what's happening here. Make the grid smaller. By the way, I'm doing that with Command and 1 or 2 on Mac. And let's maybe first disable these top notes uh, by clicking Shift and selecting them and then pressing 0. And now we're only playing the uh, bottom notes. Now let's make these notes a bit smaller here. I'm going to zoom in to this part. So clicking plus. I'm going to play uh, this fragment, duplicate it, duplicate it once again and make it shorter here. 
So playing a little bit of a kind of triplet rhythm, let's duplicate it. And this is what the rhythm sounds like on the first chord. Really nice and groovy, adds a lot of movement. And let's do the same thing for the second chord, but we don't have to do it the same way. We can just duplicate this set of notes, holding Alt and just copying this over. And doing the same thing for the third one and the fourth one. So this is what the progression sounds now without the top melody notes. Hi, this video is sponsored by us. If you like these tutorials and want to support the channel, check out our website packed with online courses and professional sound packs. If you want to cut years of your learning curve, check the PML Beginner to Advanced Music Production program for Ableton Live. You will know Ableton inside out and learn how to write, produce, mix and master complete tracks. You learn step by step at your own speed from an empty file to professional production as if we're sitting side by side in the studio. Thank you for listening. And now let's get back to your tutorial. Okay, this is great, but our melody notes can kind of juxtapose that rhythm to create something that is really unique and it's really strong. In order to do that, let's enable the first note and I'm going to shorten it. And we are going to play the length of the last one here. Let's make it one step longer and duplicate this note once again. Let's duplicate this pattern over the first chord and here's what the pattern sounds like. Maybe this is going to be a bit more present if we make these notes a bit lower uh, in velocity. Right, so you can hear that it's a uh, juxtaposition of what's going on with the rhythm on the chords. And we can duplicate this pattern once again over the entire clip and make sure to follow the top melody notes. So I'm just going to add uh, two changes here, moving this note down and this note up and let's hear what it sounds like. Right, so going back to the default velocity and this actually, this instrument doesn't really do justice to this chord progression in order to hear entirely what this is capable of. Let's switch to a really nice plucky synth. I'm going to grab Diva and play it from the beginning to the end. In my opinion, this just sounds absolutely amazing. And this chord progression is actually part of a track that was included in a start to finish production course by our tutor Julian. I'm going to play to you how it sounds in context of the full track.
isn't that just amazing? All right, thank you guys very much for watching this tutorial. Consider checking out our Music Production Academy, where we've got a lot of start to finish courses, like for example, on the track you've just heard. The link, by the way, to that course will be in the description as well. And the courses are for both beginners and more advanced producers, so, so everyone can benefit from courses like that. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell, like and comment on this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next ones.